You're watching KX News, putting North Dakota first. A proposed Chinese corn processing plant near the Grand Forks Air Force Base has now become an issue far beyond the Grand Forks area. It has become a national issue and one that is under scrutiny in Washington from military national security officials to our own U.S. Senators. Senator Kevin Kramer joins us now to discuss his joint letter with Senators Marco Rubio and John Hoven calling on the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, commonly referred to as CFIUS, to conduct a review of the Chinese food manufacturer Fufang Group's recent purchase of land just 12 miles from Grand Forks Air Force Base. Senator Kramer, thank you for being here. Thanks for the opportunity, Josh. It's an important issue. Now, Senator, you've long been opposed to the project and have advocated for strategic decoupling with China. There are key Republican leaders in this state who support the project, touting its economic benefits. If China is such a threat to our country, do you think some are putting selling another bushel of corn over national security? Well, I think everybody has, you know, legitimate reasons for either opposing or supporting the project. And it m just may be that some people aren't as um, in touch in, or in tune with um, the nefarious actions of the Chinese Communist Party uh, with their economic um, weapon systems as well as their literal weapon systems. Um, Kudos to the to the community uh, members who have sounded the alarm that have that have been concerned about the Grand Forks Air Force Base, as, as well as just our vulnerability to the to China uh, in our in our supply chain, or particularly our food supply chain. But uh, no, I think there are good people on all sides of the, of the issue. Although I also think that the people of Grand Forks are united behind their support for the Grand Forks Air Force Base for its advancements, for its growing missions uh, sets, which are, are very important, and not all of them perhaps are as um, familiar with the details of, of what those missions are. But I think at the end of the day, we'll all come together. Senator, the Committee on Foreign Investments in the U.S., or CFIUS, includes representatives from 16 federal departments and agencies, including the Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. As you know, it's been reported that the chairman of Fufang has close ties to the Communist Chinese Party. How confident are you that serious espionage, espionage issues or connections to the CCP will be exposed during this review? Yeah, I, listen, like you said, there's several agencies, the agencies with great concerns. I think the, uh, the process itself provides an opportunity for all of those agencies to voice very specific concerns that without the, without the CFIUS process may not voice those concerns. In other words, you'll oftentimes hear somebody say, well, we don't know of any direct threat. I think the FBI has said something like that. I think the Air Force has said something like that. Well, not knowing of a direct threat is not the same thing as saying there are no threats. And I think by having the process and, and the, the aggregation of all of these agencies together, I, I'm almost certain that they'll find plenty of reasons to be concerned. Um, so I, I do wish, uh, now here's something you'll, you, you all will almost never hear me say, so I'll say it now. I do wish the federal government would have been a little more forthcoming with concerns earlier. Um, I tried to provide multiple opportunities for them to do that. Um, generally speaking, I don't want the federal government to impose themselves on, uh, on our excellence at the local level, but this is an area where really the assets and the uh, intelligence of the federal government system, it, it really is important. All right, Senator Kramer, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thanks for the interest, Josh. Really, really important. Coming up next.